Welcome to two little stream printing. What I'm gonna be showing you guys to print today is the scavengers tee. This one right here. Uh, the homie Innovate, you know, from Los Angeles, he helped um, put down this uh, idea together. Um, the, the idea comes from like back, back in the days when we used to like all smoke weed and we used to be like always like like struggling like everybody had to gather up money to like buy a sack of some chronic like you have always a homie that always come come through and be like hey every time we always have a sack and he'll never put in he'll just be there to smoke so we started calling uh those type of homies scavengers so th that's why the this um, idea of this shirt it comes from that right there so ask yourself are you a scavenger <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna show you the whole process. My, mine is um, the, the burning of the screens, you know? I'm, I'm gonna do the tape and then I'm gonna, I might mix some little bit of colors and yeah, just check it out. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these screens ready. Let me turn on my camera here. All right, there you go. So this one here, this one's the gray. So what you do is you check if there's any pinholes, all right? So there isn't any pinholes. But but, but actually, um, I'm, I'm gonna record this on my periscope, so I might get another angle, or probably not another angle, but if you guys wanna see like some stuff that I don't record and put up on YouTube, like this one, this, like this one here, you could probably ask me questions on periscope more personal ones, you know what? I might put up some motivational stuff on there, but let me just go ahead and play this here. I'm still trying to figure this out. All right, got the nice little um, view right here. That's cool. I'm still trying to figure this shit out. All right. Hopefully, I don't stop the broadcast. <laughs> All right. I'm so I got. I just got this tripod here. So this is gonna come in handy. All right. Hopefully, they get a good view. But all right, let's go. Let's put my timer for my cameras. Oh, hold on. This takes a little while. Fuck the mission. All right. <laughs> It's a mission when you're doing it by yourself. All right, so now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the tape. So like in the other videos, there's the tape right here. I, I, I use the blue tape. It's like a real good um, painter's tape. This is like the only one I use because it sticks real well. And it, when you wanna take it off, it comes off real easy. So this, this is the type of, um, the only type of um, tape I use for these screens, for just about anything on, to put on the screens. Cause other ones, if you, if you go like cheaper, like the, the, the ones that are like white, those will like, sometimes the paint, it, it gets kind of like wet. It, it, it gets the glue of the, uh, of the tape real like wet too. So it just starts coming off while you're printing. So that kind of sucks, you know, so. So that's why I use this one. And don't, don't use any other kind of tape, like the, the ones that are real sticky, like that, um, I don't know what's called, scotch tape or, or like electrical tape. Never use electrical tape. I, I, I've seen so many people do it. I've done it myself and that's just like, uh, when you want to clean the screen, it's like impossible like to take it off. It actually stays on there. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep on taping these up. I might just fast, might, might fast forward it on there on the other camera. So yeah. All right, I'm just putting tape here. It's gonna take a while. This actually is, um, it's four screens. Four screens. Yeah, it's always cool um, putting these videos together because you guys always like be leaving some cool comments and I enjoy um, asking, um, answering your guys' questions, you know, about screen printing. 
Because a lot of the times when you guys do ask the question, I, I know the answer, you know, that's why it seems pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Just keep on taping these up. And see, I went, well, after I done tape it, tape it up, I, I just like put it onto this. And I clamp it a little and then I just put it up. Just so I won't have to go back and pick it up and save a little bit of time, you know. But however, however you want to do it, it's cool. So, so Sometimes like if you don't want to put tape all around it, like this one is just a little print here. I would su at least suggest put it up on top and maybe in the bottom, you know. E especially if the paint is like water based. You don't want it to drip to the bottom and it'll go through. So with this one, with this one here, I'm gonna just put this on top and in the bottom. We're using plastisol paints. All right. And get one more screen. Actually, it is five screens. God damn. But with this one here, I already had another design. It's actually from DJ Eyeball. It's like a logo on the back, and you can see it already has paint on there. I'm gonna have to clean that up, because this one has, um, actually, I, I use a brown and then a, a yellow right here for the beak. But um, I'm gonna have to be real careful when I print this. I'm gonna use like little tiny um, squeegees. With this one, I can't put tape on it because I have to clean it first. So I'm gonna just skip that for now. I'm gonna tape this one. This one here. And this one is like the, the burgundy, it's like the hat and the feathers. All right. So this, this one, um, yeah, I'm, I'll just tape all around it. So now I'm gonna just um, clean this screen here. And what I like to doing is also like, uh, just so I won't have to like hold it up anywhere or put it like bend over and clean it. I like um, clamping it on the screens or on this um, clamp. And I like putting it in between these, um, I like putting them in between the boards as you can see. Cause like the boards like it holds it up. Cause if the boards weren't there, it would just go all the way down. <laughs> So that holds it up, you know, I just clean it up real quick right there. So what we're gonna get is our mineral spirits here. And just spray it. Spray it in the bottom. Or on top and then in the bottom. And then we're, we're gonna get a, a old rag shirt or rags that you have laying around and just clean it. This is, be, this is gonna be a pretty lengthy video because I'm gonna have to mix some colors. So you guys are probably gonna learn something cool. With how I mix colors. It, it ain't no rocket science, but it's pretty cool once you know how to mix colors. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put tape on it now. So sometimes you gotta be careful because um, sometimes because you put the uh, mineral spirits on this, it, it, does, it doesn't stick. Especially if it's like cheap tape, it's not gonna stick. This one did stick. But if there was still like some um, good amount of like liquid of that mineral spirits, it for sure, like right here on the side, it didn't really stick. All right, so that's that right there. 
And what I like doing also, I like having um, flyers that you have like left over to cover up designs like that little design that's there. I just put that there and I just cover it up. Just, that, just so that I won't put tape everywhere, you know? Tape over here. Alright. I'm gonna do the, the sides also. Yeah, this tape right here it goes for like three dollars a roll. And it, it lasts because it's like it's pretty um has a lot of yards. Alright. So that's that right there. So we'll, the color we're gonna start with first is the white. And the circle here, that's the middle of it. This is the middle, it has to start from here and it goes to here. So let me just measure the sides. What I do is I, I just put my finger from the bottom and then I count it by finger. So this one's four on this side. And then it's four on this side. It landed pretty well. I'm pretty good at just just doing it. All right. All right, that's cool. Just clamp it up. Yeah. So this is the white. What I'm gonna do is just get a blank shirt or a shirt that I already ha um, just to practice on that I don't use anymore and just swipe the white but you can't forget about the adhesive the fast tack fast tack adhesive this is the one I use there's a 382 that's like um it's not as strong but I, I ever since I just started using this I never even tried the other one this one works it's cool the one trick to it is that to not like uh, let the heater stay up on top of it too long because if you keep on spraying it like after you print a lot like the middle is going to be real sticky like wet sticky and it could get stuck inside the shirt and, and that, that doesn't feel too well to the the people that wear the shirt so I always make sure that you don't overspray this and you don't leave the boards under um, curing too long sometimes it's inevitable it's going to happen but um, always make sure you clean your boards Clean your boards like every time you do a design, you know, preferably, preferably. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the flat. Hopefully my lights and the um, and this flash don't uh, fuse out my electricity and shit. Should be wet. All right. All right. All right. So while the flash is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that white. All right. I'm actually going to do it straight into the shirt. So this is the one we put um, adhesive on. I want the, the head of, uh, of the bird, I would say like a good three or four fingers from the hat. So it'll be here. I'm going to put the shirt like right here. So it's three fingers off. All right. It's not that sticky actually. I might do a little more, but actually it's perfect. You don't want it too sticky. Okay. That's that. Measure the sides with the fingers here. It looks even. Usually there's a line, you know, like the other videos like I showed you guys. Just pull it up evenly and press it down. You gotta press it down real good because it's not really too sticky. All right, so that's ready. I'm gonna get the right side squeegee. And luckily, luckily I already have one here. 
This is the one I use for most of the designs. Put some more ink on this. And just swipe this. First, I'm gonna just flood it. And then I'm gonna hit it real good. I'm, I'll do another video on um, on the swiping techniques. Actually, I, I might, I maybe should have added more adhesive. I hope, uh, hopefully, it didn't move because when I was lifting it, it actually lifted up a little. And you can see a little, little pinhole right here. It's a little pinhole. So I'm gonna just get some of this tape here. Pull this off and then just tape it up. If you want to do it legitly, I suggest you get some screen unblock and then just put it under there. Just so uh, when this tape gets a little wet after using it a lot of times, it doesn't leave like a little outline of just like, like, like moist, you know, on the shirt. It comes off, but saves you hassle, especially if you're doing a lot of shirts or changing the tape and putting a new tape. That's not always fun. So it looks, it looks pretty cool. Look, it's placed real good. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on the flash I'm gonna fix this um, this thing here let me see if anybody's watching yeah what's up how, you, how are you guys doing you guys like my shirt <laughs> it's looking a little hot in here Hey, good looking for the hearts. Where are you guys from? I, I wish I could give you guys a better angle, but I'm actually, um, I'm recording uh, the video. If you want to check it out, it's on YouTube. You see right there? There's a periscope. There's another angle, and we got some lights here, and then a light over there. This is how the design looks like. Oh, that's what's up, New Jersey. I'm from um, Pomona, um, the LA County. Um, over here in California. Check out the design. This is just a base. This is a scavengers. And if you watch baseball, oh, what's up? Hell yeah. Yeah, um, you know, follow back and I'm, I'll be doing more videos. I, just, I actually, I've been lagging it um, to do videos because I've been wa waiting on this tripod because it's kind of tricky screen printing and, um, and you know, printing and doing this periscope thing so so now that i have this dried i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera back up here hey nice talking to you guys and i'll put the camera back up here i'm gonna try to put it a little higher just so you guys can see better oh that's what's up I, le I love the bay area actually i've been going over there to san jose and sacramento a lot we're getting some shirts over there some smoke shops, they, they, they're all, um, they be on it over there in Stockton, Roseville, Hayward. Um, I, ho I hope to visit over there. I'm actually going to, uh, next month I'm going to Arizona. I'm going to Arizona and I'm going to be hitting up Phoenix and Tucson. But yeah, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and hit this one more time. All right, just drop it down. And when you drop it down, you make sure it's still landing in the right place. And as you can see, well, I don't know if you could see, but it is, it's, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe it, one swipe like that. And just lifted it real carefully, real carefully, real slow. Usually you do it less carefully if it's really stuck on there. And right, it, it's like real clean right now. The white is like real white. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the flash. I wish I had a third camera so I could get the flash on there. <laughs> but that's just crazy fucking working on these cameras. Yeah, hey, thanks for joining. Check it out. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna come out so cool when it's done. Watch. I, I get excited just, um seeing how it's gonna come out. I'm actually gonna do a video later on. We're doing a Jimi Hendrix zombie. So you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna feel that. If you guys love Jimi Hendrix and zombies, you're gonna love that. <laughs>
But hey, thanks for the hearts. Appreciate it. All right. So, those cured. Well, it's not cured, but it's dry. I always touch it just so I can make sure it's, it's not wet. Because I don't want to drop the next green. The flash, it's a, a little uh, heater. It's a heater that um, dries this plastic paint. You see? Yeah. So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the gray. I've been printing for eight years. It just started as like, you know, it just got it to like, uh, to like see if I could sell t-shirts. Cause actually I, I used to sell pro club t-shirts when they first were hot. And then, um, it was hard cause I, I'm like a, a small time business and I'm a small time business and it's hard to have inventory. So I was like, damn, I, ha I have all these damn shirts and they're not, some of them are not moving. And I, ha I, ha I had an artist homie that was like, you should learn how to print on shirts and I can help you um, do some designs. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll figure, I'll see what I could, if I, if I could figure out what that shit is. Cause not a lot of people knew about what screen printing is, you know, I, I didn't know about it. And, um, just bought a machine. S somebody taught me how to burn a screen. And from there, I just kept on, kept on burning screens, practicing, learning Photoshop. I went to school for, um, to learn illustrator and, um, and from there, I just kept on working, meeting more artists, um, designing a lot myself. Um, and just through time, through time, I just stocked up, you know? Yeah, I, I print on sweaters and um, posters. You can check out uh, our YouTube video. I, I do a lot of stuff there. Just mad letting that right there. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. I wish I, you guys could see a little better, but I think you guys got a good angle right there, no? Yeah, I sell online at Two Ill Clothing. I, I, I'll, I'll get a I'll get a paper out right now um, for my bathroom, and I'll show you guys the 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 addresses you could check out. Right, I'll, I'm actually go get go get it right now. Let me just um clamp this up real quick. Yeah, if, if you check out our U, our YouTube, you can see more videos on screen printing and di different different stuff. You know. That was a timer. All right, so now, now this is aligned here. I lined it as good as I can. It, it, it could, you have to have a lot of patience when you do this type of stuff. You gotta have patience. Cause this, much, this, this manual stuff is like, with, with anything on screen printing, it could be a little tricky, you know? You gotta, um, Sometimes it's not going to work out how you planned and you have to figure out how to go about it or if if it doesn't burn a new screen But the, the more you do it the more experience that you um, that you That you have printing the easier it will be or you you'll have like different um, Techniques on how to fix it, you know Yeah This this right now is giving me a little problem <laughs> All right, don't just clap it up it's a little off, but I'll fix it up right now. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna just go get um, I'm gonna go get the the paper. All right, so that's that right there. I'm gonna just fix this gray. And get it going. All right. Damn. There's no joke.
I think that's as close as I'm gonna get it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the gray. And I'm, I'm going to use a dark gray, this one here. So I need a, a little more. And I do not have more. As you can see, it's empty. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and mix some more. I'm, I'm gonna mix it straight onto here. So to, to get this, to get this, so to, to get this, to get this dark gray, you get um black. You get black, and then you just. I think it's like 50 50, 50 black and 50 white. And this is the white right here. Just mix it up. Put this right here for now. And you can already see it. It looks pretty good, so I don't have to add no more white or no more black. You can't really see, you just gotta mix it real good. Mix it real good just so it doesn't leave no streaks of black or white or in between, you know? And to get the most use out of it, what you do is you, you get this and you just you slide it onto the squeegee right here. And then you you fin you finish mixing it with the squeegee. You just go like this back and forth. Or not back and forth, but you just mix it up right here. Or you kind of, you know, just mix it up. And there it is. Got it ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just swipe this. Hopefully this is the right, the right gray. Yeah, I suggest you use the right side squeegee too. Look at that. It looks hard. No, it looks hard already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the flash. Ooh, that's that fire right there. All right. You guys wanna check it out a little closer? Watch. Let me check it out. And what I do is, um, can you see that gray? Alright, <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next color. I'm probably gonna be mixing some right now. Some more. But I'm actually gonna do a lot of it just because um, I don't wanna run out. Because with the other colors that are not gray, they are, uh, you gotta be more precise. Because you don't wanna do a batch and then do another batch and there's a different kind of like pink or whatever, you know? So, I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, do the next color or actually this one's burgundy this one's burgundy so I'm not gonna have to mix it cuz I already have a burgundy so just gotta align this I think this one be easier to align than the other one and yeah it looks like it is all right Got to clamp this. Alright. So sometimes there's gonna be like little um hole like little dots that didn't come off on the screen. I know you guys can't see it, but I see it right here. It's like real tiny. So I'm going to go ahead and poke it out with a needle. There it is. Bam. So I'm going to go ahead and get the burgundy. The shit. And 
and there's the the this here burgundy there's a triangle ink it's a 11 27 burgundy triflex it's it's pretty soft this is not opaque or anything so since there's no white base on it it's gonna like actually it might since i'm gonna do one base it's gonna feel um like it's kind of dark so let me just get this here uh flyer and then just get that because right now i have no free spatula so i'm gonna just hit this and do this and then um what you want to do is mix it up because this one had water in it because i hadn't been i hadn't used it in a while i, I recently mixed it so it, it probably i probably don't have to mix it much but you want to mix it a little bit just so it could be like consi consi consistently you know so I, I just mixed it on here real quick all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and just swipe it do it like a couple times to make sure it's on there real good and that's it right there pretty cool huh yeah all right let me show you guys you see that it's kind of dark if i was to hit it again you'd see more red i should i should have probably maybe um added a, a white base but it doesn't look bad it looks like a dark burgundy so i'm gonna go ahead and put it under this flash here You see the old sticker right here? It says, it says uh, LA and it has an I in it. And that's supposed to be a 2 clothing sticker. <laughs> it's been there for a long time. I, I clean my finger. When I have paint on it, I clean my finger on it. That's why it looks like that. <laughs> Alright, so this is ready. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here. Oh. You see, screen printing is no joke, man. That's just hard work. I'm gonna be over there like um, by by around Thanksgiving. I was trying to go over there sooner, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna be ready. It's like pushing it, you know. I want to have the right product to go up there to make some sales. I'll probably periscope while I'm over there. <laughs> Depends. All right, so so this one right here, this one right here is like a pinkish. Um, it's like a pink. Cause it's like the uh, the vulture condor's head, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, and clamp this. All right. Yeah, usually I have like some music going on right here. But I was like uh, thinking like maybe you guys won't be able to hear me. Cause sometimes I don't really talk too loud. <laughs> All right. I'm hitting it with a spatula because my um some of my micro adjustments they actually broke. So that's why I hit it with the clamp. So with this this pink here, I don't I don't have a pink. I don't think I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix one. And in order for you to get pink, I think you, I think you have to mix um, red and white, no? So, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and make, mix them. So I just put some some red right here. And 
and then just throw some weight on this. And just mix it up. And it looks like it's more red than um, pink. No, actually, it looks like a cool pink. I like it. I might just stick with it. Always remember, like, I would suggest you just make mix a big batch. But right here, uh, I'm just gonna make a few shirts. So in the next in the next batch, I'm actually gonna make a bigger one. But you don't want to make too much to where you're just stuck with the whole gang of pink, because you can see it doesn't take a lot, because it already has a white base. This has a white base, so it's gonna stick to it real good. It's gonna stick like with one swipe. It's gonna, it's gonna be popping. I, I left the white base on there because um, I I knew I, I wanted it to be popping, and the other and the burgundy one I didn't want it to really be popping or too glossy. So that's why I, I didn't do it like that, you know. So I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe it. Luckily, this one I'm um, gonna cover it with this side squeegee. So just go like this. Make sure it's rightly um done, and just do one good swipe. Right. Or to make sure you cover all of it and BAM look at that that looks pretty tight All right, so that's that's that right there put it under the flash and The next colors the next colors are brown and Yellow I'm gonna use the yellow gold I use for all the other shirts because we do a lot of dab shirts so I'm gonna use a dab yellow so you know, as, as, as always, I tap it, make sure it's dry, and this one dried pretty quick. So, but th this one's a, um, the special technique right here. This one is two colors and one screen. So, I'm going to line it. And this, this one, I put a base on the beak because it's yellow. And the brown, I, it has no base because I, I want it kind of darkish. So, I just align it. And just clamp it you want to clamp it real carefully so it doesn't jerk you do it evenly each side little by little and that's ready to go and what you do is you get a tiny squeegee for here and a tiny squeegee for there and you gotta swipe it sideways because you don't want to get too much paint on there I don't I don't suggest um just all of you to try it like this. I just do it like this because I want to save screens. But if you are experienced or you, you think you could like um, do it without really struggling too much, um, you should try try doing it like this just so you can save screens. But only I only uh, suggest this to experienced screen printers. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get at the squeegees. Okay, here's a yellow I will be using and I only have this the one with the black so I'm gonna clean it off And I have this brown here. So this is the brown I use for a lot of our designs. So I'm gonna just keep it cons consistently. Just so I won't have to mix all kinds of colors. All right. So here's a, the, the technique. What you wanna do is, um, you see how I swipe it sideways like this, like a cir circle motion. I kind of mastered it like this, but 
I, I know a lot of you won't really know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm doing it in a circular motion. Just so uh, it doesn't leave no lines or really get, I control the paint to exactly where I want it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just do it sideways. As you can see, I didn't do it perfectly right there. Still, I could still get some, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. Right there, you see that? So now when I hit the brown, it's not gonna get none of that yellow. There's, there's like super advanced techniques right here. <laughs> There's a price you do the the price you pay just so you can save some screens, but actually, ah, I just fucked it up. You see how it just got brown on there? I shouldn't have done that. So now, hopefully, it doesn't show. Ah, it doesn't show. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't suggest for like people that are barely starting a screen print to do this. I probably shouldn't have showed you guys to do it like this, but I'm always trying to save screens. All right, so that's the brown right there, and there it is. I actually kind of like messed it up in the beak. It shows a little bit of brown because um, I fucked it up. But I could fix it. You see, like there has a little bit of brown just because I I, I flicked the, the squeegee and it got on there. So now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that brown from there. Oh, fuck. Uh. Alright, what I do is I, I just um shoot some of this right here. There's a mineral spirits and I just um clean it off. Clean it off on top. And then just spray it again in a different area and clean it off on the bottom. And it came off. And then clean it off on, on top again. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the um, gold again, right on top of that same spot. And bam, I saved it. I'm gonna go ahead and flash it. And then after that, we just cure it. And this here is the process of how to do the scavengers design. Six colors. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey, good looking for the hearts, but I know it took a little while and I messed up a lot, but if you guys enjoy these videos, you know, uh, follow and I'm, I'm gonna be doing another some more later on. I might, I might drink a little beer or something. But you guys, you guys like my uh, my Donald Trump shirt? <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy stupid, huh? You guys like this <laughs> Donald Trump shirt? <laughs> Good looking on the hearts for show. Sure. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Alright, peace. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later, YouTube. Sorry I was on this on Periscope, but if you guys want to check it out, that's where to check it out, you know? And let me show you guys the finished product once again. Huh? Shout out to the homie Innovate for dropping this fire right here. Alright.
keep it to will. How's the lighting? All right, peace.